Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Today, we're gonna have a ball, literally. Today's workout is all about agility and coordination. So we are starting out this workout with 11 different agility ball coordination exercises. We're gonna run through that part twice and then we are just going to polish this workout off with a strength routine that we are also gonna go through twice. It's about eight exercises. So. You will need your water, as always. You will need some weights for part two. And for part one, you're gonna need a ball. You do not need a medicine ball or a ball with any kind of weight. The point of this workout uh, is to improve our agility and coordination, so really any ball will do. You can use a med ball. Um, if you want to, just make sure you have a sturdy wall because we're gonna be throwing the ball against the wall and bouncing it and doing things like that. So um, I just have a $2 kickball from Toys R Us. So. Really, the, uh, the equipment is not expensive for this one, um, and it's pretty easy to come by. So, uh, join me back here in a minute for the workout. Practice your toss-in before you do. <laughs> no, actually, just have fun with this one. This is supposed to improve our coordination. We don't have to be perfect before we even try it. So, meet me back here in a few with your water and all your equipment. See you then. All right, guys, let's get started with that warm-up. We're just going to start with some touchdowns. You can start out slowly here. Feel it in those glutes right away. I love the idea of an agility and coordination workout. I thought that was so cool that Cody brought that up. He had suggested three rounds of agility exercises. But I made my rounds a little longer. So I decided to only go with two, and I also thought once we got those muscles super coordinated today, we'd burn them out at the end with some weight. So that's a little different than his suggestion, but it should be really fun. You can always add an extra round if you're needing more. Let's go here about five more seconds. You can start going faster. As those muscles get warmed up. And all right. Now we're just going to hit some low ropes. Going to mime it out. Keep your core tight here. <coughs> Got my little buddy with me. That's that coughing sound you just heard. You okay over there? to some pivot squats. So you don't need any fancy equipment today. If you have a med ball, that is awesome. That'll make it even harder. But really the point is to work on agility. We're not worried if our ball weighs a lot or if it bounces exactly the right way. We're just worried about improving our coordination, our foot speed, all sorts of stuff that will help us just tackle our future workouts and life in general with more ease. And we're gonna go into butt kicks. And we pull those heels up to the glutes. Smile, breathe. Don't be hard on yourself for this one. I'm sure you won't be after you see what I'm going to do with this ball, but um, just be kind to yourself and we'll have a good time. My dad calls me the Bob Ross of exercise. If you remember anything about his painting show, he always used to say, there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. So I feel like I have happy little accidents a lot and don't be afraid to have them too. All right, let's do some inchworms. It is all a part of a bigger, more beautiful fitness picture 
But even those mistakes, you know, they're helping you get more coordinated. They're helping you reach your goals. It's not like your heart rate goes down or your muscles stop growing when you mess up. So, no worries. All right, guys. We have 10 seconds, and then we are going to go into a toss and squat. So, toss the ball, deep squat, deep squat, deep squat. Depending on your ball and how many people are awake at your house, <laughs> you can throw this harder. I've got a nail on my wall here, so I've got to be pretty careful. Go as fast as you can, dig as low as you can. You got that med ball. You're really going to burn out your arms here. Go faster. You can throw it lower. Contract your abs. Just have fun. Five seconds. Don't look at your timer, you'll lose your ball. Awesome. Alright, guys, in 10 seconds, we have pivot squats with that ball. All right. All right, let's go. So we're working here on getting it fast. You can always dribble your ball. My ball is a little flat. <laughs> Keep low here. That's the point. We're not jumping on this one, we're not tossing the ball. We're dribbling. <coughs> we're staying low. Five more seconds. Awesome job. I skipped an exercise. We're gonna do wood chops next. So over the shoulder, down to the left. Whew, all right. Now, you're welcome. If you have a heavier ball, like a med ball, just throw it and kind of bounce it if you're near a wall. Think about your foot placement here. Think about twisting your core. We're going as fast as we can. Chop. 10 seconds. All right. We're gonna do that wood chop on the right. The next round, I promise I'll do it in the right order. And we're twisting into that lunge. Contract your abs. My arm's still a little messed up on this side, so my chop gonna be. A little off. Halfway through. Use some extra resistance if your ball does not have weight by pretending you're going through mud. 10 seconds. All right, that's it. All right. Next exercise, we're going to shuffle, toss, shuffle, toss, shuffle. You can also bounce. My ball's getting a little flat. Toss, toss. You can slam the ball. your head if you have a med ball or... 
12. Bring out those legs. Keep low. Awesome. All right. Free throw and pass. Left and right. So, coming up for a three foot free throw. Pass. You can always throw it at the top, depending on your ceiling. Step it out. Working on coordination and foot speed here. Seconds. Keep it up. Keep your speed up. Ten seconds. See if you can hit that ball on something high. Like if you're racing, it's so hard to lose it. All right, guys. Next we have wall ball toss get ups. So get a towel behind you if you have a really hard floor. We're gonna toss, jump. Back up, jump, really get some air, use your abs, lift you off the ground. If you'd rather woo, jump while you're tossing, that's good. I'm going to stick with jumping after. The more you do, harder it'll be for you to get up. Whew. Oh my, <laughs> but that was pretty. All right, ball toss, jump lunges. All right, this is what it sounds like, toss the ball. One, two, toss the ball. One, two, toss. One, two, toss. One, two, toss. One, two, toss. One, two. I think having the ball helps you focus more on it, less on, the, less on how much time you have left in your interval, less on how much your muscles are burning. Okay guys, next we have ball slam rocket launchers. My ball will probably get away from me here. It is what it is. Okay, so slam. One, two, three, wide tuck. Slam. One, two, three, wide tuck. Slam. One, two, three, wide tuck. One, two, three, get out there. Slam. One, two, three. Head tuck. You can also, when you slam, one, two, three. Launch up that way with just one, two, three. Jump. So any way you want to do it. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. Five seconds. One, two, three. Ooh, one more. Ah. Awesome. Whew. All right, ball toss sit ups. Get your towel on the ground. You guys haven't climbed yet? Okay. Back, toss. Toss. If you have a med ball, this will be awesome. Try to launch it up there as much as you can. This forces you to really lift through your abs, through your belly button. Press that belly button into the floor as you contract up. Really lift. 
Feel your abs as you throw the ball. Hope I've given you guys inspiration that you do not have to be super good with the ball to get a crazy good workout with a ball. Awesome. Okay, we're staying on the floor for one more. Runners, Russian twists. So, we're gonna have our legs run. Get your balance. Now you can either keep a foot on the floor here for a modification, there, or you can run those feet out and twist. These do not have to be fast. If you shove that heel out, flex the foot, you're gonna get a really good extra burn there. We are over halfway done. If you feel a twinge in your back, always put the feet down. Try to make a rainbow with your ball. 10 seconds. Oh my. Awesome. Okay. We are back to the beginning. Get yourself a quick swing. Water. We've got those ball toss squats. All right. Toss it. Low. 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 Sink your butt down. Get that rear end low. Try to toss it. The same spot each time. Keep your back up straight. Another good thing about a ball toss workout is it kind of forces good form on squats. You're looking up to see where that ball is. You're catching it down low. Five seconds. I should have done the first round for those wood chops next. We're gonna do them now. Take it to the floor. your workouts. Like I said in the intro, you know, if you're not having fun with it, see if you can switch something up. Do workouts that are challenging, but that you really enjoy. Don't just hook it on a treadmill for hours because you think that's what you're supposed to do. Awesome. All right, so now we have those pivot squats with the ball and you can dribble in between. My ball's getting flat, so this should be really interesting. <laughs> okay. I think I came back here last time. You can always add a jump here. A little free throw if you want. Keep it low when we're stepping back. Woo, throw the ball too high. Keep low. You want to just Take out the jump, do it as fast as you can on that pivot. Stay low. This is a do anywhere workout. Five seconds. Awesome. All right. All right, shuffle and slam. All right, no, ball wood chuck on the right, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry about that. Chop it, twist it. Get that ball on the other side of that right foot. If you have a med ball, you're not gonna be able to go as fast as I but whether you have weight or not, you can engage those abdominals with this full body 
and standing ab move. No problem. 10 seconds. Crunch it, chop it. Pretend like you got a heavy ball. Three, two, one. All right, awesome job. Now we have the shuffle and slam. All right, so slam, shuffle, slam, shuffle, slam, shuffle, slam, shuffle. You need more room? I might turn mine sideways. You know how this old boy's gonna do on the carpet. It's about flat. I think one of my kids sat on it. Luckily, I don't have too much invested in the ball. Keep it low. You can always, if you have more space, throw the ball at the wall to catch on your way back. Woo. Low. Three, two, one. Woo. That one's awesome. All right, your next is your pass and free throw move. All right, pass, free throw. You want to toss it. Stay low here. You'll notice. We're moving in many planes of motion. We're switching directions quickly. That is a hallmark of agility training. Switching directions. Watching foot placement. Watching foot speed. Staying low. Getting there quickly. one to do as a friend. Toss the ball to a buddy. Awesome. All right, guys, now we have those wall ball toss get-ups. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you an easier way to do them if you're having trouble. So we're going to toss, jump. You can roll back without getting your legs straight out. And just make this up. Roll up, move instead of coming flat, not having as much momentum to jump up. So you pick one way, it's a little harder. The other way, you're gonna use momentum. So it's really just up to you. You can switch them out every time. Ooh. Feel like you're having trouble? Take it back to the roll. Woo. All right, our next move is a little more straightforward. Is a ball toss jump lunge. So we're gonna throw one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one Two, get low. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Suck those. Whew. Not suck. <laughs> Pull that core in. Don't suck your abs in. Tighten your core. wall out of them. <laughs> this ball has got me talking crazy. Okay. All right. Ball slam rocket launchers. All right. Slam it. Catch it. One, two, three. Elbow to knee if you can. Slam it. Woo. One, two, three. Elbow to knee. Slam. One, Two, three, elbow to knee, slam. One, two, three, oh, get some air, slam. One, two, three, elbow to knee, slam. One, two, three, elbow to knee, Whew. slam. One, two, three, you can't just jump. 
up two. Sling. One, two, three. Elbows to knee. Ah. <laughs> Yuck. All right. Ball toss sit ups. All right. On the ground. We are taking that back. why I said suck them in earlier. That's the opposite of what you want to do. You're going to contract your abs so you can protect your spine. And then you get a little lab workout throughout every move. All right, last exercise for this agility portion All right, is the uh, Ball runners rushing twists. You can get those heels pressed out. Make a rainbow. Halfway through. break here and then we will go into part two which is going to require some weights so whew, that was good whew, after our 20 second break I'm going to gather up my weights and I will meet you right back here all right guys I hope you got rested a minute and got some water we're going into our strength section our first exercise is a little bit of cardio too um, it's a tricep push-up burpee with a tuck so tricep push-up burpee Get those knees up, contract your abs, we're running through the circuit twice, halfway through, great job guys. up with a back squeeze. All right, if you need to go to your knees on this one, we're pounding out tricep push-ups two in a row here. No problem. So, tricep push-up. Squeeze the back. Push-up. Squeeze the back. Squeeze the back. I'm going to go down to my knees, feel it into my shoulder a little bit. Shoulder will just not let me let me go. All right. Now we're gonna do a Bulgarian with a row. So down to the Bulgarian row. Sometimes I call this a lawnmower. It looks like you're starting a lawnmower when you're pulling here. Really squeeze your back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. We are isolating one leg and one arm at a time. 
core is tight here. Weight in the heel, knee behind your toes. You guys can do it. It won't be as long as it has been. One second. Awesome, good, awesome job, guys. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right foot forward. All right, get down to the lunge. Pull that lawnmower cord. Squeeze your shoulders. Awesome, we are halfway done. Ooh, squeeze. Dig deep. Get low. Sink it and pull. Awesome. Woo -hoo. That is a glue burner. All right. All right, guys, we have some seesaw biceps. We're going to take our arms here and we're going to seesaw them back and forth. It's a good time. About 30 more seconds. We're keeping them level here. Stay back there, way. Awesome. Okay guys, now we have a front squat with an Arnold. All right. Front squat, Arnold. Weights in front, palms facing you. Push up into an Arnold. Sorry, I have so many pauses in this video. I've had little ones who've been coming in and out. They're playing with their daddy, but they're really curious to see what I'm doing. And sometimes they make me have to stop my intervals, but I can't think of a better reason to stop. All right, guys, pick up a lower, lighter weight. We're gonna do a yoga squat with some crossbody curls. So, give yourself some space here. Kind of rest your elbow on the inside of your knee. Crossbody curl. Full body move. Keep that chest up. Awkward, yes. Beneficial, yes. Come up if you need to. You can always do this move here if your legs need a break. Look it down at those muscles. Be proud of what they can do. Three, two, one. Oh. All right, guys, we have some elevator punches next. All right, we are going to squat, punch, come up, punch, punch, punch. I guess these should be called elevator pushes instead of punching. Push, pull.
Really squeeze those glutes when you come up. Weight in the heels. Remember, embarrass the person behind you. You're squeezing your glutes so much. There used to be a guy who <laughs> sang in church when I was growing up. He would squeeze when he hit the high notes. That's all I'm going to say about that. So hit your high notes. Awesome. Okay. We are going back into those tricep push-up burpees. Now, this is going to be hard because remember we got two back-to-back -back tricep moves, so don't be afraid to go on your knees. I am going to have to with that second move because that's about when I start to feel it in my shoulder. So we just do what we got to do. Obviously, we don't work through injury or excruciating pain, and we try to modify to get oof, the best workout we can, no matter what level we are at. And about 10 more seconds. Good times. <laughs> Good times. Whew. All right. Try set push up with a back squeeze. I'm going to do it to the side for you. I'm going to get on my knees. Really squeeze your back. This takes a lot of core strength, even on your knees. You're going to feel it in that back. And five seconds. Now we're going back to those Bulgarian plus a lawn mower. All right, we're going to the left first. Sink it down. Pull. So just like we we're doing on that last move, we are squeezing that back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Get that elbow up. We are halfway done. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Won't be as long as it has been. <sighs> Alright, same thing on the right. <laughs> Round with the left, lunging with the right. Get your breath. All right. Sink it. Pull. Sink. Pull. Try not to bang your knees. I don't know if you can hear my sweet little family in the background. They're playing. Some chess and puzzles with their dad. Ten more seconds. Ooh, I'm losing my balance, which ironically I haven't done a lot of today. <laughs> all right, this has been like the never-ending workout with all the interruptions, with all the <laughs> having to stop and start, but that is okay. All right, see saw biceps. Contract your core here. Get your breath back. I love strength moves. They get my heart rate up like cardio. Nothing like it. Next we'll have 
Some front squat Arnold's. Halfway through. Awesome. Ten more seconds. off a little bit. You know what's next. Whew. I'm going to use my very awkward <laughs> big weights here. Front squat. Arnold. Try to keep some control. Even if you've got awkward weights like I do. They're really neat. They're a set that locks in and you can increase or decrease the weights. But <laughs> the shape of them it's very odd. I feel like they're always about to hit me in the face or... Ten seconds. You can go faster than me. I'm focusing on form. easy for me to get a little wobbly on those. So. Alright, yoga squat plus some cross body curls. Alright, we are almost done guys. Yoga squat. Really sink down if it's too much for you. And just do cross body curls. Standing up. I like to call these the Rory Gilmore, Rory's signature drink because of that Gilmore episode, Gilmore Girls episode, where Rory turns 21. And they make her a horrible signature cocktail and everybody wants to throw it out. 15. Core tight. Five. Four. Three. Two. <laughs> okay, elevator punches. All right. All right, top floor going down. Punch out. Punch. They should be called give and takes, I think. <laughs> your hind up. Squeeze those cheeks. a little pat on the back and then go down into a runner's lunge here. Left foot in front, right foot to the back, arms to the side. We're going to stretch into that hip flexor, push down. We're going to turn to the left, get that left arm in the air. We're going to look at that left thumb. It's a good neck back stretch here. Now we're going to come down. I'm going to take the right arm up, look at the right thumb, press into that hip, stretch your neck. Woo. This was so fun today, guys. I hope you had an awesome time. Push into that hip. All right. We're going to switch sides, set that foot in. Now the right foot is in front. We are stretching the left hip flexor there. All right. We're going to stretch the right arm up. We're going to look at our right thumb. We're going to breathe. Coming down. Switch. Look at our left thumb. Back down. Press into that hip flexor. 
All right, step up. Now we're gonna come down on our knees. We are going to inhale up. We're gonna exhale down. Cat and cow here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Widen those legs. Inhale. We're stretching out our back here. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to shift our hips back into a child's pose. Put your arms out front, stretched. Let the weight of your head take you down to your mat or the floor. Push back into those hips. You can also tuck the arms beneath the legs here. Bring your head to the side. And breathe. All right. Now we're going to walk those hands over to the left. Left hand on the bottom, right hand on top. Sink your weight into that right heel. back over to the right, right hand on the bottom, left hand on top, sink into that left side. Awesome. Let's do one more to the front. Good job. Okay, let's slowly come up into a plank. And we are going to walk our, our hands back, shoulders beside the ears, shoulders pressed down away from the ears, into a down dog pose here. Hold it here. All right, we're going to walk those feet in. We're going to reach for those toes. I am not feeling super flexible today, so I'm just going to kind of work my way down. You can keep a slight bend in the knees, let the weight of your head help you to lower down. And slowly roll up. Let's go ahead and work on those arms. I'm going to cross the right arm across, put the left arm there at the elbow. You're going to look to your right. Okay, and switch. I'm going to cross the left hand over, hook our right arm at the elbow, and look over our left shoulder. Alright, shake it out, and do some neck circles. And switch directions. Activity completed. And we are done. Oh my. Whew. That was fun. <laughs> great job, guys. All right, great job, guys. You just crushed this 22 minute agility and coordination cardio workout, and then you topped it off with a 16 minute strength finisher that targeted your whole entire body. Now what you need to do is drink a lot of water in the next 30 to 90 minutes. Um, you need to get some healthy fats, carbs, and proteins on your plate. If you have any questions about what those are and how to put them together to make a great post-workout meal, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com or comment below. So drink your water, get some healthy foods, and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more brutal workouts and tips on all things health. Uh, we are always excited when you join us at Velvet Hammer Fitness and we thank you Cody Merriman, our subscriber who gave us the great idea for this workout. Cody, I hope you liked it. I hope it challenged you. And um, no, no matter if you were the most coordinated at keeping that ball in the air the whole time or if you were more comfortable pounding those weights at the end, you made a healthy decision for you today and for that we applaud you because it is your health today and every day. So here comes the velvet hammer. Hit it hard. Boom. Great job, guys. See you next time.